Howdy, 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 my beautiful Aries. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Velka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading, Aries, for August. So if you enjoy this tarot reading today, Aries, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot, and I love hearing from you guys as well. Also, if you want to support this tarot reading channel for free today, Aries, just give this video a like and subscribe. It helps me out more than you ever possibly could know, and I always appreciate those who take the extra step to do that, because I know y'all don't have to. Now today, Aries, we're going to be getting into three rows for you. You. all right your first row we're going to be talking about the person that is on your mind right now it could be platonic or uh, romantic relationship it's just whoever's on your mind darling right your second row today aries is going to be what you need to hear right now by the way yes i do read reversals i just don't think y'all need to see them upside down um <clears throat> but yeah your second row aries is going to be what you need to hear all right, and then your third row is just going to be, it's honestly more so for me, uh, to help with the predictions of what's going to be happening for your life here. All right, Aries? So be sure to consume your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus sign. Uh, Aries, don't consume just your one uh, zodiac sign today when you're getting your tarot readings, and let's just get started. All right, darling? Starting this off, though, the back of the deck energy here is this page of wands for you. All right? So Aries, at this current point in time, the momentum of where the energy is trying to direct you currently is trying to open doors for you, trying to open up opportunities for you. All right. I want you to start. Uh, I want you to take this week, Aries, and ask yourself uh, and start observing, just being like, where is spirit trying to actively guide me in all facets of your life? All right. Socially, you might be uh, being invited to some type of event or you might be starting to feel some sense of a desire perhaps aries to uh just go out all right this would be the uh, opportune time to do that because it seems like unexpected opportunities when it comes to social connections you never know who you're going to be meeting you never know who's the next person that you're going to be talking to right um don't judge a book by its cover as well aries i feel as if when it comes to social connections um hear them out all right now in terms of opportunities in terms of desires here uh for you aries i get like the sneaking suspicion uh where the it's like what you experiment with aries that's where you where you will find the success all right um what you experiment with is will you, where you will find the success i feel like aries this is the time for you to start uh experimenting so it's like maybe you've been having a passion to um have a new stream of revenue aries all right this should be the time to start exploring different ways of course darling this would happen uh this would be the time to explore different uh ways of doing it right i feel as if if you explore like knitting and then social media and what have you aries there's going to be something that you do with this page of wands energy that you'll notice with one of those things that you experiment with very much so seven of cups energy aries um that will garner you some really good success here i feel like once you find your niche that's where you'll not deal with like any resistances so find your niche when it comes to like your projects and what have you all right so let's start getting into these rows now uh aries i'm really excited let's start with the person that is on your mind right now all right you have the Ace of Cups, King of Pentacles, as well as the Emperor card stepping forward to you. All right. So this is giving me very much so an energy, darling, of uh, Aries. Like, I'm going to be honest, like even because of that Page of Wands energy, I feel like you have your per you have your mind on a situation where it's like you're wanting to have things be rectified or you're just wanting someone to give more to you to open up more to you to provide to you aries all right it's feeling as if like the person that you have on your minds like i hear absent-minded maybe as if like you feel like when you're talking to them they're not really listening or like i don't know i get like this situation where you start talking aries and then like you start fading away because it's like the person that you're talking to is just like oh uh-huh uh -huh uh-huh that's crazy like not really paying attention i feel like you're noticing the spark like going away and it's like kind of spooking you out a little bit and so i'm going to be honest here aries all right i feel like there's going to be new energy coming in for you all right this ace of cups first and foremost talks about new love new opportunities coming in i always associate it with your heart chakra aries um but yeah and then you have this emperor and king of pentacles here and now keep in mind aries earlier darling with this 
I don't know why I was doing it so weird. Earlier, Aries, right, with this page of wands, I felt like in a social aspect, it's like for you, like door, new doorways are opening up and page energy represents new energy, bringing forth news, right, Aries? And so... I kind of see like this sense for some of you Aries where it's like you're having you're noticing something starting to be unfulfilling or you're noticing someone pulling back perhaps and um I feel like it's more important to just acknowledge like instead of trying to fight what isn't what is inevitably happening Aries with that situation be getting yourself ready for this new situation coming in here all right i get mentorships i get someone that is very powerful in their own right here someone that's very successful this easily could be someone that has like their own business or they just have a really good head on their shoulder areas of like where did what it is that they want to do in this lifetime what it is that they want to accomplish this is someone that's very sure about themselves because both with this emperor energy and the king of pentacles this is like someone that like that has the swagger that has the ego but king of pentacles energy Energy is what backs it up you know that king of pentacles shows is just like you know it's like the emperor it's just like you know i'm not saying they're egotistical or anything like that but it's just like this person knows that they like they just know who they are all right i'm gonna stop trying to gas them up and like tapping into their energy because i feel like it will come off as like them being very like i don't want to give the vibe of them being like this like suave person because i don't feel that i just feel like they just are they just know who they are. They're confident in themselves, which is just, I don't know. I find that to be an extremely attractive trait, personally, Aries. So let's now get into uh, what you need to hear at this time, Aries. All right. So you have here the eight of cups, five of pentacles, or five of cups as well, eight and five of cups with the hermit energy coming in here. Now, Aries, what you need to hear at this time is learning when to walk away from situations, learning to accept the situation for what it is and learning to accept that you can't fix a situation. All right. I feel like for some of you, Aries, it's be, I don't know if this is because of like your perfectionist nature, Aries, or where it's just like you can't really conceptualize if you put your mind to something that you can't fix it or get you know get to what it is the desired results that you want and i feel like for you aries there's like this big lesson for you of like learning when to just wash your hands clean of a situation aries learning when to accept a situation for what it is and just continuing living on you know i feel like for some of you aries you're really struggling with having to let go all right having to let go of projects having to let go of people especially aries having to let go of certain friend groups i feel all right because i feel like there's something in your life right now that you acknowledge that it's reached its expiration date aries all right i feel like you acknowledge it here and i feel like currently for you darling that what you need to hear is like this is a time for you to just if let things be all right, Aries, there's like, stop trying to uh, fight for certain things to happen. Stop trying to force the situation to um, pan out in a way that you want it to, because there's not, there's nothing you can do. All right. You have this five of cups energy here. This five of cups, it's like this desire from spirit, uh, Aries, that they're wanting you to change your perspective, right? You have the spilled wine, you have this bittersweet energy, like the sadness here, almost like the sense like you're, it's like the sense Aries, like you are about to step on a journey without some people in your life, without like what was like comfortable to you, what you considered like your home base. And now that you're about to step into this new journey, it's you wish that you could bring more along but there's two cups once you change your perspective and get out of this mindset of like looking at what it is that, you, that it is that you're leaving and start paying attention to what it is that you're walking towards all right the reason why like spring cleaning comes to mind here aries in the sense of like what's going on in your energy in that like you're letting go over a lot you're shedding a lot right now aries because you're about to be stepping into something even greater all right the eight of cups journey is someone that is walking away from eight filled cups darling all right eight filled cups um because this person f uh feels as if that they're best destined for more they know that they are they feel they feel it in their bones that there's something greater for them than what their current situation is they're not settling aries essentially here right and that's why the eight of cups is usually depicted with the moon as well because that moon represents like the unknown essentially right 
And so this person doesn't know for a fact that there's like by leaving this current situation that it's going to work out, right? That this person doesn't know at all, but they have to have that faith. It's something in personally in them that they realize they can't just settle for what this how things are currently there has to be more is something i keep on hearing that there has to be more all right and so for many of you aries i feel like it's just you've been in this place of eight of cups for a while now i feel like certain people have been part of your life for a very specific reason not just people aries because i feel like some of you guys have been working like at a job or doing something for an extended amount of time and it served you up until a certain point because it got you out of a dark place i feel i feel like it's helped you find yourself on some level but what what the situation that helped you find yourself years ago aries when it first came into your life all right just because you found that years ago now it's time to move on now it's time to upgrade all right that's really what i keep on hearing for you aries it's like it's time to push your boundaries more all right you're going to be finding yourself being a little bit more uncomfortable in the coming days you're going to be noticing where the resistances are in your and what facets in your life and that's what spirit's trying to really guide you in aries is in this is in the sense of being like all right we want you to go here it's time to let go of this so let's make uh, aries a little bit more uncomfortable in this facet so aries starts going into this path that is destined for them here but maybe you just don't want to lean into it because of just you know very sentimental energy Aries all right I don't know why I just I'm being shown the buffalo right now um I don't and I feel like it has more so of a representation Aries of like the community of like the herd that you've walked with the path like all the miles that you've walked with like a certain group all right and I feel like for you it's time just to change your direction it's time to change your path here Aries all right I'm very optimistic about what's going to be coming for you. All right. I don't feel like any of anything that's what's happening for you right now. Aries and take note. I said for you, not to you. Anything that's happening for you right now, I feel like is all part of the plan. All right. All part of the plan. It's not a coincidence here. All right. You have the number 15 dust devil. Be sure to look up the number six in numerology Aries to see how that resonates with you. All right. What messages that brings. But the dust devil uh, talks about moving out of stagnation. All right. Whether you want to admit it or not, Aries, there's certain things in your life that have become stagnant, something that's reached its expiration date, Aries. It's time to acknowledge that you've outgrown um your current ecosystem all right it's you know it's one of those things where it's like you really have put your roots in situations because of just like how much it's helped you aries and i want to really honor you and acknowledge you for that all right because i it's much easier to just say so it's like oh yeah aries just let go let go you know it's much easier trust me i understand but it's one of those times where it's just like it served its purpose for you aries it served its purpose and you can't continue clinging on to this blankie because then that inhibits your growth further to develop a new blankie from a higher elevation, right? You have the new moon in Scorpio, go deeper. Some of you guys might be dealing with someone that has strong Scorpio in their chart, or you might have some Scorpio in your chart, go deeper. This is a time for you, Aries, where it's like, this is, I'm gonna be honest, Aries, this is the period of time for y'all where it's like, it's not, it's not gonna be, it's not for the faint of heart, all right? This is gonna be separating the, the, the children from the adults, darling, all right? This is gonna be what separates the elevated Aries from the Aries that still has some maturing, maturing to do. All right. So I'm, I would really want to acknowledge you guys. And it's like, this is not like what's coming for y'all is it's not easy. All right. And so, um, be open to being challenged, quieting the minds. You know, there's all this emphasis here for you, Aries, about just going deeper, about self-reflecting shadow work, really darling. Right. When you think about it, this is literally the epitome of shadow work. All right this is you're on a spiritual journey right now you're going through a very spiritual experience and you need to just be open to what is triggered during that spiritual experience something that not a lot of people talk about is on a spiritual journey is they talk about oh high vibes da, 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 and that's all relevant but they don't acknowledge like the the yucky feelings that you get the uncomfortable feelings that you get when you're having to heal all right it's not just all rainbows and sunshine that you know these people nowadays want you to believe 
All right. Your predictions, Aries. You have the Page of Cups, Queen of Cups here with the Seven of Wands. All right. I feel like you're going to be having a deeper understanding, Aries, of who's a friend and who's a foe and who has reached its uh, period of time of completion for you, who have you outgrown from. All right. I feel like for you, Aries, you are getting back on track with what it is that you want to accomplish in this lifetime here. I feel like you've had some distractions uh, for a while now, for the past few months. I feel like there's been some like there's been dramas with people. There's been just there's yeah just dramas i feel like you haven't been able to fully just focus in on just yourself and what it is that you personally want to accomplish for a while now but that's clearing up you're remembering your purpose you're remembering what you were put on this earth for and you're getting back into the pro uh, swing of productivity now Aries, we talked earlier about with that Ace of Cups and all this, darling, right? About new people entering your life. And I saw like mentorships. I saw like someone that's just very elevated in their own right here. All right. And I still see that for you because of that Page of Cups. As I said, darling, pages bring new energy. You have the Page of Cups. You had the Page of Wands, right? <clears throat> all this but this only happens with you detaching from your current situation here, Aries. All right. So really for you guys right now i want to ask you aries to take a risk to accept the fact that you've outgrown this situation and it's time to um expound your reach it's time for you to move on from certain people that are just complicating things all right there's too much drama there's, there's too much assumption there's too much that's not being spoken in certain relationships in your life aries and that's just not it i feel like you need to distance yourself from those types of people you're going to be attracting people of a higher um of a higher success, all right? I really do feel that. You're gonna be attracting mentors. You're gonna be attracting people that also inspire you, Aries. I feel like you also get reminded about what it is that you're wanting to accomplish, what it is that you're wanting to do through the people that you're around, all right? You, there's always that quote that says, it's like, show me the five closest people to you, Aries, and I'll tell you, tell you your future. And I feel like that's the storyline for you, Aries, all right? So you are attracting a higher elevated person. Your path is gonna be getting aligned with the right people. I am positive about that, all right? So just go continue on being your bad self, Aries. All right, darling. So I love you so much. If you want to book a reading with me, simplyvelco.com. All right. My social medias are linked below, TikTok and Instagram, as well as Facebook, all just being Simply Velka. Same as here, darling. And I'll be connecting with you sometime in the near future, Aries. Bye, darling.